This is Spencer from the MacGuffin, and today I'm joined by Craig Robinson, one of the stars of Morris from America. Good afternoon. <laughs> uh, yeah, it definitely feels like a newscaster sort of situation. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Where do I look? Do I look at you? Do I look at the camera? Yeah, you look at whatever makes you comfortable. I'll try okay, to good. make it down here so they're both one and the same. Right. Um, I want to start by saying this is kind of an interesting role for you. Um, I mean, first you're playing a father. So it, 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 what is that like in terms of your career to sort of go from like playing the single uh, wild guy to sort of being the responsible figure in here? Um, well, this particular one, because I, I, uh, there's a movie I played a father in. It was a comedy, though. It's called Raptor Palooza. I wasn't a very good father. I was a, the Antichrist. But um, this one, it, it was, you know, it's just it's so real. Uh, it was, you know, gave me a chance to uh, to play both my mother and father because this this uh, he has to be father and friend to his child, and that's a delicate line, you know, a delicate uh, situation. So, it, you know, I, I relished in it. I, I loved the script from the jump. I, I thought the character spoke a lot like me, and you know, I just identify with it. So then I met Chad, and I was like, oh, this okay, wow. Yeah, so, yeah, it was, it was, I relished it, I enjoyed it. Was it like trying to balance sure, that aspect like of being sort of the comedic relief in some ways and sort of the moral it's compass it's simultaneously it's because you very much play both of those roles for your son in the film because like you guys are in Germany and he doesn't necessarily have a lot of friends per se, so you kind of have to... Yeah, not, neither of them have friends and, and he had to... He had a hard time learning his English. Once he... <laughs> he, once he told him, you know, yeah, you go, you got to make some friends. You got to be out there meeting these girls and stuff. And he realized that I guess I got to do the same thing. I got to, you know, got to walk the walk. Um, Marquise made it uh, easy. You know, his, our chemistry, you know, we just we just got along. So it's fun. It's easy to be fun with him. And then, like I said, drawing from my father, like the, the like I know how to bring the iron fist because that's what I saw in my life. You know, I mean, we good. You know, I love my father. You know, we we close and stuff and my mother you know uh, uh but my mother was like the the sweet you know and my father was like the the ruler so so and i had to be both of that for you know for curtis had to be that for 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 marquis for uh for morris curtis had to be that for more he had to be both because you know his mother's dead so he's got a you made a good point though too in that you guys are both in the same situation, and he realizes that he doesn't really have, you know, friends and sort of a network as well. well we to uh, and granted, it's sort of a smaller well, portion of the film, but there are a few and scenes and where he's interacting, you know, with his co-workers and sort of clearly he's isolated as well. What was it? Did you have a strategy to sort of like convey those sort of moments? Because they're brief, but a lot of it's communicated non-verbally and stuff like that. What I mean, well, that's, that's how it's written, you know? It's like, you know, you are... Uh, it was awkward to kind of be with be with the guys and and and, and even he speaks German and stuff. But it was like the, I think it's a part that you are that that didn't make the movie where the guys were going and 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 I made the decision to hey where y'all going you know because they they're just walking past and walking past and uh, and they're like we're going to have a beer and then I was like oh and then the guys like. You want to come? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then that's then you see us in a bar, and that's where you saw the movie. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that even touches upon a part of the movie that really, I mean, you also kind of isn't directly addressed that way. Well, the death of the mother, like you briefly talked about, you know, like like oh, I'm single, yeah, you want to go try to talk to her or whatever. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is that something as an actor you like that challenge of those like tiny sort of subtle moments that you're trying to convey a lot of information, or is that just something that's difficult to do? It's, it's uh, you do like the challenge um, because it's you, you, you can't be big, and you know it's some, it's just sometimes it's a look or just sitting stoic, and, and people can you know tell what you're thinking. My favorite performance, I think, of last year was uh, Benicio del Toro <laughs> and uh, Sicario. Like, yeah. it was a clinic on looks and and acting. He he was he he didn't bring it above a you know a four in the volume level. And he was amazing, you know. So, uh, uh, um, 
you know, that, that's the, what I strive toward, you know, to take those moments. <laughs> As a, if you're going to strive to get more, you need to have that performance. I know, right. Good one. That won an Oscar for a reason. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Um, it's interesting to me because the film is set in Germany. Obviously, German language plays an important role. Um, but also, music is yeah, a huge sort of language in the movie. What was that like for you? Yeah. Sort of, I know you come from a musical background, so what was that sort of like, uh, including that into the sort of story? Yeah, music is, is pretty much a, a character in the movie. Um, and it, it was like, I love it. I got to, you know, rap Biggie, <laughs> which, you know, nobody's going to say, give me any awards for that. But, uh, but just, that's another thing that drew me to the part was just like this love of hip hop and this, you know, those, uh, the way he's trying to show his son, look, this, you know, this is, this has context. This is what real, you know, music is about. And then son's is like, this, the beat's cool, whatever, but it's like, you know, it's that frustration that lives today. It's like, come on, just, just come on, this is not music. This this is music, you know, over here. But, I mean, yeah, there's a great moment where you're discussing with him after you look at his, like, notebook and see the lyrics for what he's written. You're just like, write what you know. Like, don't write what you know. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm not mad because it's, you know, explicit. I'm mad because... No, it's just fake. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not real. It's just not speaking to who he is. It's a real, I mean, that's a great, I don't know what you want, monologue, dialogue, whatever it is, but it's, it's really powerful. Yeah, I thought so. I thought seeing that, it was like, um, that is, that's, I think that's what, because like, some, some fathers have been like, thank you, you know, I, I wish I could do that with my son. Like, it's, it's really I mean, tripped that's out. I think it's sort of powerful about it. Your character in the movie is that, I mean, for a very yeah, sure, I mean, there's an element of the friendship, and yeah, there's an element of the father, but, like, he's, I mean, clearly, like, he cares about his son, and he wants him to grow up into a guy. It's not so much like he's just trying to be an arbitrary ruler. Like, there's a scene where he, like, comes back, comes back from being late, and you're just like, leave me a note. Like, I, like, I'm not, like, worried that you're necessarily out. Like, I just don't want to stay out and, like, constantly worry. About you just want him to turn out well. He want, he want, yeah, he wants him to spread his wings. Things, and he knows, you know, it's delicate, and it's it's like a, a you know bird pushing. It's like you gotta fly, and it's not so callous, but it's like there's a great scene in the car too, where you guys are talking about you know all things stem back to girls and stuff. Where it's not like he's necessarily completely just bringing the hammer down, but he's trying to be like, look, I understand what you're going through. Right, right, and you're still in trouble. So yeah. <laughs> One of the uh, other interesting things about the movie is there's a sort of, I don't know, that it worked out. Subtle sort of discussion of, sort of race in like Germany and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of an interesting and thought provoking aspect because you're trying to be protective of your son, but at the same time, you don't want to freak him out about the world. Um, what do you think about that sort of message in the movie? Obviously, it's not like smashing you over the head. Yeah, that's, I was about to say, it doesn't beat you over the head with it. It, it, it just says that uh, this is another, you know, it's just it's another routine that that he's going to have to, you know, face, you know, another part of life that he's going to have to go through. And, you know, it perhaps it can be managed, you know, that's, uh, and you you keep cool, everybody's cool, what have you, but there are people who, you know, are out to, for your, you know, bad interests. I mean, it, Germany it, has it, a it, history, it, uh, obviously, of geez, intolerance, so I mean, it's getting yeah, but you know, a good way. But we were over there, I mean, but that, but it's, it's in so many places, you, know, you can't just, he sure. just happened to be in Germany, and uh, I mean, and then, you know, shooting there was was a blast, you know, we well, shot in Heidelberg, we shot in Berlin. For sure, the, the scenery and the experience oh, yeah, yeah. really yeah. adds yeah. an element of like, I mean, the whole thing about isolation, you know, whether it's language, location, you know, because it's, I guess, a small town is sort of the century was described. Right? Exactly. Um, so I guess in some ways you could sort of compare it to your acting in the movie too, because a lot of your acting is just with your son. I mean, so what was that like in terms of trying to create your character? Was it, did you guys try and bond before the filming experience? Was that uh, we, the we, filming experience? Because it's really, I mean, you two are like essentially your scenes are all with him. I mean, sort of, that is a huge part of the movie. We, um, we met once in LA before he went off to shoot. But I mean, he's great. You know, he's funny. He's, he's natural. His time is funny. So it was. It was uh, we just came in there and just, you know, kicked it around. Um, uh, in terms of your part in filming in Germany, what was that experience like? Because, as I said, like, it is almost in and of itself its own character. Did that sort of 
and then two days affect later, the way you approach the part? This, this did you sort of use that feeling like, I mean, the language barrier, the isolation to sort of channel what your character was like during the <laughs> It's, I mean, you can't help but be affected by Germany if you're in Germany. So, um, my, I, my thing, I really wanted to get that German correct, you know, and not only correct, but seem as if I just, you know, say it every day. So, you know, they sent over uh, 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 the script, they sent over the, you know, the um, uh, 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 recording so, so I could like listen and, you know, and then I have a friend from Liechtenstein and she, uh, she uh, helped me out a lot. So I wanted that right. And then, yeah, just being there, it, um, it, it, it's uh, Heidelberg is this like real quaint, it's like it's a nice town. It's like it's colorful, it's beautiful. It's a 1200 year old castle there. It's just you know, not much trouble to get into. And then we shot in Berlin, which was you know, just the opposite, of, but it was so much fun. So, um, yeah, I, I just you know, just was enjoy, enjoying everything about it. This might be a weird question to ask, but after going through a movie like this, where you sort of essentially parenting someone and sort of seeing the experience that occurs in this movie, I don't know if you have kids, but does this at all make you think about the way, if you have kids, you want to sort of approach raising them? If you don't, does it make you think about how you might want to approach it? Because yeah, well, I like I said, like fathers have been coming up to me saying thank you and. You know, it's open their eyes or, you know, wow, I wish I had thought of that, you know, or some people say, well, I wish, you know, wish my dad was like this. So, you know, kudos to Chad for writing that and uh, uh, getting that part out there. I think so, yeah. It's, I think I would take that approach of like, okay, I'm a chill, you know, I'm a chill, you chill too, you know, let's, let's, let's keep this cool and, you know. I'm gonna let you be a man. Don't forget, I'm still a father. Like, it's, it, because he has so much to deal with, you know, between his wife being dead and and his wife was his mother. So, you know, he's got to play that part. And, uh, you know, he wasn't expecting to be in this situation. He was expecting that it would be the three of them and who knows what else. But uh, so he's 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 finding his way at the same time. And he knows he brought him into this situation of being in Germany. He knows he's got to deal with the tutor. He knows he's got to deal with these other kids. He knows he's got to deal with the girl he's in love with. So he's got to, he's got to be, you know, his, uh, he's no, he's, he, one thing he does know, he's the one that's going to be there forever. You know, always going to have his back. So, that's uh, what I believe off screen in terms of you and, you know, sort of, you know, I mean, obviously as a younger actor, did you do at any Oh, you automatically, are you, you protective, you know? Yeah, I mean, do you, do you feel like, do you, like, I mean, you've acted on a lot of movies and it's boring on TV shows. Do you sort of like be like, well, uh, I mean, obviously it's very talented, so I don't know, maybe just let him do what he's going to do, but do you have any sort of like, discussions or talking about like, you know, this is sort of, you know, acting, this might be, like, sort of sharing wisdom or whatever you want to call it. I, no, I like, like if he asked me something, sure. But for the most part, if, if uh, like like you said, he is natural, very funny, and and um and then chat, you know, is is great at what he does. He knows what to get. So it was all about like just being, kicking it, you know, having fun. But it, it wasn't a, and then yeah, he's he's a he's like a good kid. Yeah. So it's it's he's cool, you know, and people like. Trying to come at him for agents and all this other stuff. It, it was one of those things in the movie that I liked. Was, uh, that even though he was getting into all this trouble, like there's that scene where he stays out like all night, um, and he's going to take the ecstasy, but he spits it out because like he doesn't really want to do it. So clearly, you know, there's that impact of like well, he is being a troublemaker. Right, right. At the same time, the influence from those sort of experiences exactly is still having its impact on him. Of course, he recognized. Yeah, all that, that was a powerful moment. You know, like this is. Like you say, like, I, he could go to, down this road. He's like, eh, I'm not there yet. It's, it's not necessarily bad. It's just misguided, perhaps, in his approach or ways trying to find. So, uh, and it doesn't help that a uh, you know this hot girl is you know leading him on. Right. So, so I mean, as all things here, and it all comes back to you. It's always a girl. Um, it's not just the all right, so 
This is Morris from America. Um, is there anything else you have coming up? I mean, sausage parties, here. Sausage parties out there. Uh, this, uh, table 19 has got Anna Kendrick and Stephen Merchant and, and uh, 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 Lisa Kudrow. Um, let me see. And then this one, I don't know when it's coming out. Lost in Austin. Uh, what's the best place? Do you have like a Twitter or Facebook or whatever? Uh, I have a Twitter. Uh, Mr. Craig Robinson. Mr. Craig Robinson. And uh, yeah, you can find me there. Cool. Well, best of luck uh, with Morris from America going forward. I can't wait to see Sausage Party yes. tonight. Right on. I look forward to seeing what you do next. Hey, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Can't stop me. I'm fire tonight. Magneto can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. It's tight. Don't even try to bite the side of the side. Mr. Spock can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Borg can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.